Minnesota Fighting Vikings need to upgrade the backup quarterback position because, yes, Kirk Cousins never missed a game, but everyone is fully healthy until... They're not. Uh, and if the Vikings are all in on 2021, they do need to have a guy that they can feel comfortable, maybe get them through a couple of games. Sean Mannion ain't that guy. So what if I told you that there was a free agent, veteran, cheap quarterback with movement skills and familiarity with the Kubiak Shanahan movement based uh, West Coast passing attack, you think, hmm, that'd be a good option, especially since the Vikings probably aren't going to draft uh, a rookie quarterback that high. So, hmm, yeah, I I'm intrigued. Well, aha, let me introduce you to one Robert Griffin the second Jr., aka RG3. Woo, let's go. Let's go. Uh, former number two overall pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. Just let go by the Ravens this week. Uh, by the way, his career lasted longer than number one overall pick Andrew Luck. So, not saying, just saying. Yeah. Uh, and yes, former teammate of Kirk Cousins in Washington. Kirk was drafted in the fourth round uh, the same season as RG3. Uh, How would you like that as a confidence builder? So your team trades all of that draft capital. And then in the second pick after you, uh, they, they take another quarterback. So... It was a weird dynamic, always was going to be, especially after Kirk took his job in 2015. Uh, so the question is, why the hell not? Hmm? I mean, can't this team be fun and hilarious and improve the rooster all at once, uh, just once? Please. So let's talk about uh, the pride of Baylor today. So 30 years young, uh, 6'2", 213, uh, former four-star recruit from uh, Caparis Cove, Texas. Nailed it. Uh, was a track and uh, football star. Uh, committed to Baylor. Art Bryles uh, lit uh, Baylor on fire. Lit the Big 12 ablaze uh, in 2011 as a senior. Threw for 4,293 yards. 37 touchdowns. Also ran for 699 yards. Nice. As well as 10 touchdowns. Not bad. Uh, was consensus All-American. Over Andrew Luck, by the way. Uh, won the Heisman and was just amazing. Combine. Was a physical freak. Ran that 4 4 140, Strong arm. Accurate. Uh, but you were worried about... All right. So coming from a simplistic college offense. Lots of bubble screens. Lots of verticals. Okay. Uh, as well as his frame. Pretty slight. Would he be able to hold up uh, to the pounding in the NFL? Uh, but watch him. They were sold, man. Daniel Snyder. Mike Shanahan. They're like... Gots to get us some of that. So they traded three ones and a two to move up from six to two to take RG3. And they were all in. They were. It started out promising. His rookie season was phenomenal. Threw for 3,200 uh, yards, 20 touchdowns, five picks, a 102.4 quarterback rating as a rookie, plus 815 yards rushing, seven touchdowns, both rookie quarterback records. They're running a lot of read option, uh, really building the offense around what RG3 did well, just really uh, starting to incorporate some of that Baylor offense. Alfred Morris uh, was uh, phenomenal as the main running back on that Washington team. Plus, week six, uh, RG3 dropped the full-on teabag on the Vikings, just running one in from 76, like the full-on Darjamin blend. Uh, uh, Harrison diving there. Ah, ah, ah. I was rookie of the year, uh, made the Pro Bowl, uh, led Washington to a 10-6 record and the playoffs. Playoffs? Uh, but unfortunately tore his ACL and LCL uh, in a playoff game against Seattle. He also dinged up his knee on an earlier game that season against Baltimore. So just like, it, it was a ticking time bomb. Should Shanahan have put him out there for the playoff game? It's debatable, right? But he just wasn't the same after that. So wasn't as fast, was hesitant, uh, always had that strong arm, but accuracy was erratic. Confidence was gone. And what made him special was being able to move the pocket and throw on the run and just make plays with his legs. That was gone. Right. Uh, Kirk eventually took his job in 2015. They sat his ass on the bench so they wouldn't have to pay out uh, his injury guaranteed at the time. Fifth year option. Uh, RG3 spent 2016 with the Browns, which, you know, before Stefanski got to Cleveland, that's where careers go to die. They're like, we're going to send you to Cleveland, bro. Yeah. Uh, 2017 was out of football altogether. Uh, and then 2018, after the Ravens traded up to 32 to draft Lamar Jackson, uh, they signed RG3 in the offseason to be his backup. Uh, started one game this season uh, versus the Steelers with Lamar Jackson on COVID. That was the hilarious Wednesday afternoon game where it was going to be a Wednesday night game, except M NBC was like, you are not messing with the Rockefeller uh, tree lighting ceremony. So they had to play in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Still did phenomenal ratings, by the way. Uh, but RG3, Rusty, yes, 7-12 to 12 for 33 yards. Threw a pick 6 to Joe Hayden, 28.5 uh, uh, quarterback rating. Did run for 68 yards on 7 carries. 
almost nice. Uh, but then he tweaked a hamstring. Uh, basically, that's what 30 year olds do when they try to run with the kids. They're like, yeah, the old guy comes down to the uh, Lifetime or YMCA and then tries to run with some pickup games. He's like, ah, no, nah, tweaked. Yeah. Uh, and the Ravens uh, have since acquired Trace McSorley as well as Tyler Huntley uh, to roll behind Lamar. And they're like, ah, eh, RG3, you've been here for three years, but hey, thank you. Deuces. Uh, so they'll let him go this week. Main question is, would this dynamic work ego-wise? Right. So basically, Yankee swap. Yeah, uh, Cousins took his job in Washington. I mean, maybe. Uh, I'm sure both men have grown. RG3 Definitely seems a lot less aloof and entitled uh, than he did at Washington. He's been humble. Like, you were the number two overall pick. You were the Heisman. You were the man. You had a great first season. And then thwack. Thwack. Uh, I think that he's actually done really good things with Baltimore. I think that he's helped uh, with the progression of Lamar Jackson. And I think that he still has something left in the tank. I mean, also, I mean, in Washington, dude was the egomaniac. Like, he had a personal logo. Who does that? Also, he had his own office at the Washington facilities, which ironically became Kirk Cousins' office later on. So, yeah. Uh, But bottom line, RG3 would help this team. He would in a vacuum, taking all the egos and personalities out of it, absent a high draft pick at quarterback, which the way the Vikings picks are structured right now, a 1-3-3 and 4-4s, Might not even go quarterback day one, day two. Uh, He'll be an upgrade over Sean Mannion. You're not going to pay up big for uh, a high-end backup uh, anywhere uh, in free agency. Like, you're not going to get Fitzmagic for, you know, less than uh, eight million bucks. So that's not happening. Uh, but also him coming aboard wouldn't necessarily impede the development of a Browning or a Nate Stanley if they're ready to step up in year three and two respectively. Plus he'll be dirt cheap. Like I don't think there's going to be a huge market for RG three. So you probably get him close to the veteran minimum. Maybe get him on the one year, $2 million deal, a uh, 2017 case Keenum special. Come on, come on. Now, is he the same dynamic athlete? No, absolutely not. But it kind of reminds me of late career Randall Cunningham when they brought him in uh, from his granite business after he had been retired. Uh, Vikings like, hey, Denny Green's like, hey, we need you. Uh, and he wasn't the running threat he once was. He's still maybe the most dynamic quarterback in NFL history. Uh, but he still had the cannon for an arm, and uh, that was still there. And he had to learn to be more of a passer than a runner. And it worked out great in 98. Now, I, I think the RG3 certainly could provide value as a backup. And I do not hold that clown shoes game against the Steelers against them because it was on a Wednesday and they had little to no practice. So, I mean, that's whatever. But it it does make sense on paper. Uh, Again, veteran, cheap, familiarity with the scheme, strong arm, still has a little something something left, would be a very decent backup for Kirk Cousins. But would a new assistant to the regional general manager, Kirk Cousins, allow it? I don't know. I don't know. Still fun to think about. Uh, But your thoughts, RG3 to the Vikings, question mark? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.